Hello guys, welcome to my channel Immigrant. My name is Sagar and in today's video I will show you how you can calculate your CRS points. So basically I'm going to calculate my points and so that you get an idea on how you can calculate yours. So the first thing that we're going to do is type CRS core calculator on Google and you will see this www.cic.gc.ca this is Canadian immigration website CIC website so we're gonna click on this link because this is from CIC website so this is legit I'm not pretty sure about the others I've never used it I've always calculated my points on this website so we're just gonna click on this alright guys so the first question is what is your marital status so I will choose single how old are you? 26. What is your level of education? So here it says enter the highest level of education for which you earn a Canadian degree diploma or certificate or had an ECA which basically means your risk. So talking about my case, I did my bachelor's in technology BTEC which is four years course uh, in India and here in Canada I did two years of post graduation diploma. So I'm going to choose this two or more certificates, diplomas or degrees. One must be a program for three or more years. So my BTEC was four years and, and also I did post graduation diploma. So click on this. So the next question is have you earned a Canadian degree diploma or certificate? As I mentioned I did my post graduation diploma in Canada which was two years course. Uh, and just go through these points as well. One being if so you had to be enrolled full time for at least eight months and have been physically present in Canada for at least eight months. Okay, so I'm just gonna click yes. So now it says choose the best answer to describe this level of education. So mine was two years post graduation diploma, and I'm gonna choose this one or two year diploma or certificate. Okay, so the next question is official languages, basically means your IELTS or self -aid test results and even a French language test if you're planning to go to Quebec. The only thing here is your test results must be less than two years old. But the thing is, if you haven't done your IELTS yet, let's say if you're planning to, uh, planning to give IELTS, if you haven't done it, I will still suggest you to click on yes, because if you, if you choose no, it won't let you fill up the rest of the form. So just say, just click yes, and you can just put a random band for now, okay? Okay, so the second question regarding the language test is, which language test did you take for your first official language? So I did IELTS, if you have done CELPIP, choose that, or if you're still trying to, to uh, give CELPIP or IELTS, just choose either of the option. I think these two are for the, the French language. I'm not pretty sure about this, I'm so sorry. But uh, I'll just go with IELTS because that's what I did. And again, I already got my results, but if you haven't, uh, haven't got it or you're still planning to give IELTS, just put whatever band you like. Uh, depending on your level of English. I think the minimum band you need to score for Canadian experience class is 5 in each section and for skilled worker, your federal skilled worker program is minimum 6. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my band. So speaking, I got uh, 7.5, listening was 9, reading 7.5, writing 6.5, So the third question is do you have other language results? If so, which language test did you take for a second official language? I think again they're for the French language. I'm not pretty sure about that. I'm just gonna go with not applicable. Okay, and now comes the work experience. So in the last 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience in Canada do you have? As I mentioned, I had one year of full-time work experience, 30 hours per week. Okay, it could be part-time as well, it just have to do it for 2 years, 15 hours per week. Okay, uh, it should be NOC 0, A or B, mine was NOC B. Okay, so make sure you find your NOC as well. Uh, just gonna choose one year. Also, if you're not in Canada, if you're still planning to migrate to Canada, just choose none or less than a year. I'm gonna go with one year. And in the last 10 years, how many total years of skill work experience do you have? So I had no back home experience. If you have it, it should be NOC 0, A or B as well. 
Okay, I'm gonna go with none or less than a year. Question number seven is, do you have a certificate of qualification from a Canadian province, territory, or federal body? Again, this is not the same as nomination PNP program. It's, I think it's the certification in a particular trade. Okay, so I'm just gonna click no. Do you have a valid job offer supported by a labor market impact assessment? Basically means LMIA from the employer itself. No. Do you have a nomination certificate from a province or territory? So this basically means your PNP. I'll choose no. Do you or your spouse or common law partner, if they will come with you to Canada, have at least one brother or sister living in Canada who is a citizen or permanent resident? So your brother, or if you have a brother or sister, your real brother or sister, who has a blood adoptation or marriage relationship, I mean like step brother or step sister, then you can select yes, you will get an extra point for that. I'll just choose no. And that's it. I'm just gonna click this, calculate your score. So my score was 465, depending on my education, my age, education, my study in Canada. IELTS, Canadian work experience. Okay, so this is a summary of my points, 465. So let's take another example. Mm, so if you're married, just click on this. Married, have to answer some simple questions. Is your spouse or common law partner a citizen or permanent resident of Canada? Let's say no. Will your spouse uh, come with you to Canada? Say yes. Okay, so if you go down, 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 you will see the same questions for your spouse as well. So, what is the highest level of education for your spouse? Let's click the same. In the last 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience in Canada you have? Let's say none. Did your spouse or come take a language test? Yes. Let's fill up a random thing. Eight, seven, six. So every time you change something uh, here, you just have to click clear your score again in order to reflect the change. So now you'll see the points uh, 461 by adding a spouse. So you need to make sure that your CRL score is above the minimum point score of your round of invitations, which basically means that uh, it should be more than the current CRS draw. For example, let's say our points 461 and the current draw is 450 so you will get an ITA because your points are more than the current draw. So that's basically it. I hope you found this helpful. If you still have any questions, feel free to comment below. Give it a thumbs up if you like. If you haven't done it, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I wish you guys all the best and I'll see you in the next video.